Hello YouTube, it's Everything Epan here, and this is a video tutorial on how to install Windows 7 in VirtualBox. This has been a highly requested video from a lot of the viewers, and i finally gotten out to give it to you guys. Um, if the mic quality sounds any better, I now have a Blue Yeti Snowball mic. Um, wish I could have gotten the actual Blue Yeti mic, but I had to get the Snowball, so I got the Blue Snowball mic but uh, if the quality sounds better that is why um, in other words I actually got a PS4 as well so I may start doing videos from that soon so without further ado let's go ahead and begin the tutorial what you're gonna need is um, VirtualBox if you do not have it link is in the description I forgot to open it um, link is in the description um, I don't remember if I have a VMware link, but if I do, that will be in the description as well. So, once you have either thing installed, or if you already have it installed, um, you're going to want to go ahead and create a new virtual machine. And then you're just going to call it Windows 7. And then you're going to make sure that the 64 bit selected in the menu. Hit Next. I'm going to give this two gigs of RAM hit next and then um, it says a standard hard drive make it 25 gigs I'm just gonna leave it there you can put it up whatever you want so then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to settings you're gonna go to storage empty find the little disk icon now I'm not going to put an ISO in the description now a lot of you guys probably were looking forward to getting an ISO of Windows 7 but I just can't do that um, there is a way that if any of you have a valid product key you could um, go to the Microsoft website and actually get um, some recovery disks and that link will be in the description so I think there is ways to get an ISO so literally you you can find an ISO of Windows 7 anywhere I just can't post it myself because I do not want to get any sort of copyright or anything because Windows 7 is still the most popular OS right now so I do have a all-in-one ISO but I'm not going to post that a lot of you were probably looking forward to it but I just it's something I cannot do. I would, but I can't. So then you're going to go ahead and start the virtual machine. It's going to start up. It's going to give you the Windows is loading file screen. And VMware users, this is the same basically. So I think from now on, I'm just going to do titles as how to install so and so or certain operating system for VMware slash or VirtualBox slash VMware I think I'll just do that from now on so you'll get this loading screen and you know what I'm gonna do this in full screen I haven't done it in full screen in a while you're gonna hit next in the installation process then install now I'll say setup is starting now the newer windows will be they'll have um, better screen resolution settings because of the newest newer operating systems and stuff like that basically so I'm um, hopefully get a 1920 by 1080 resolution so then since I have the uh, all-in-one edition I can select any one of these so I'm just gonna go ahead and select ultimate this does come with service pack 1 usually all of the ISOs come with service pack 1 you'll agree to the terms and then you need to hit custom because you obviously can't upgrade because you don't have a um, operating system installed on your virtual machine so just hit custom and then there's your 25 gigs of unallocated space you're just going to go ahead and hit next and it will go ahead and start the installation so this can take some time um, the one that really takes the longest is expanding windows files now it does not ask you for a product key yet um, but later in the installation it will ask you for one but you do not need a product key so that's the good thing about Windows 7 I mean yes it's good to activate it but at least you don't have to have a product key to start off in case you want to get one in the future or something like that so 
we're just gonna go ahead and let this sit and I'm gonna pause the video for you guys um, I could do like speed like speed it up but I just prefer to do a cut just so I have um, just so I don't make the videos much longer and more boring but um, we're gonna go ahead and do a jump cut here and I'll see you guys in a bit you will now hit a restart screen after all that installation so let's go ahead and restart now almost missed the uh, cut there and do not press any key to boot from CD or DVD I've had a lot of people do that and they just keep going in a constant loop and they keep asking they put in the comments <coughs> excuse me in the comments that they just keep getting a constant loop in the installation and that's because they keep pressing the key to boot from the CD or DVD and they're not supposed to do that so you'll get to the continuation of the setup it will actually go back to that last screen where it said completing installation and it'll just stay there for a minute now it may adjust your screen resolution so your screen may blink um, during this part so do not worry about that it's just gonna make your screen resolution better um, for most users at least but um, you're just gonna have to let it sit again and so that's what I'm gonna do and I will be back with you guys again once uh, we hit another restart point. Okay, so now it will say setup will continue after restarting your computer. So it will hit another restart point, as you see. Once again, do not press any key. If you think you're going to make that mistake when it's in the first restart point, just take out the disk. Because um, then you won't have to worry about it that little screen will not show up so it'll give you the little starting window screen that's what it's gonna that's the boot up screen basically and it's gonna go through a couple more settings it's gonna prepare your computer for first use and then video performance it's gonna do a lot of other stuff not a lot of other stuff but it's gonna do some other stuff and then you'll get to the actual point where you can set up your user account. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to type in, oops, keyboard was not registering. There we go. We'll just name it everything. EPAN. And then we'll hit next. Just type in epan pc I'm doing that with one hand so sorry if I was slow there typing I'm gonna just skip the password you can put one in there you want this is the point where it asks you for the product key you do not have to enter it in but if you do have a valid product key like if you're installing this on actual hardware enter it in now and it will automatically activate it um, hopefully but if it doesn't you can just go back and activate it but I'm gonna skip that I'm gonna use the recommended settings I'm going to choose my uh, time zone, which is central time. And then hit next. I'm on a home network, so it'll automatically realize you have a internet connection. It's going to apply those settings as well. And then you should be getting close to finish. Yep, it's going to finalize your settings, which should not take too long. Your screen will go black but then it'll come back up and my screen resolution actually did not change but it may have installed some new drivers while I was doing the uh, installation itself so it'll say preparing for your desktop in the logging in part of the process which depending on your computer specs may take longer it may be quicker it just kind of depends but it also may depend on the addition you install as well. So it's taking a little longer than I expected, but once that is finished, you should get your desktop and you heard the logon sound as well. So there is your desktop it uh, has audio drivers installed network drivers as you see I have internet access 
If we go to screen resolution, there should be, yep, there's some drivers installed, 1600 by 1200, but I don't even have 1200, so we'll just do, we'll just keep this for now, even though that's not what I want, but you can probably get some more um, drivers for this if you want. But there is the video tutorial on how to install Windows 7 in VirtualBox. Please leave comments below on video ideas. I need some video ideas. I'm running out of ideas and I need some stuff to do. Um, if you want me to try and record some stuff with the PS4, like some, I have Call of Duty, I even have Madden, some of you guys I've seen. Um, there's Madden users on YouTube and I am a huge Madden fan. Um, so if anybody has any ideas, please comment below. Um, leave a like on the video if this helped you guys out and share it. Also subscribe for more content and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.